Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the voice of reason. Today we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine. So over the last 24 hours, the Russian Federation has launched one of its largest missile and drone attacks against targets throughout Ukraine we have seen since the start of the war. We are also seeing new weapon systems, new classified weapon systems that the Russians have been developing over the course of the conflict. Look, the Russians are playing catch-up in terms of their use of drones and uh, certain stealth capabilities. Now, the question is, in this recent attack, the attack that just occurred less than 24 hours ago, hitting more than 50 aim points across Ukraine with up to 160 variety of cruise missiles, missiles, and uh, drones. Were some of those new systems? Were some of those new weapon systems that we have not yet seen? And the answer to that is, in all probability, yes. Now, first, we have to look at just the sheer size and scope of the attack that the Russians have recently launched. The Russians went after targets throughout all of Ukraine. Not one major city in Ukraine was probably spared. Uh, Kharkov was, was hit. Approximately 20 aim points inside the city uh, were hit. Warehouses, command posts, command and control sites, production facilities, not just again in Kharkov, but in other areas, all the way to the west towards Lviv, were also hit. Downtown Kiev, targets were hit. We understand that the main infantry school, the school for Ukrainian infantry, a large training base, was attacked by Russian missiles. Targets in the south by southwest, Odessa, Nepro, all hit by Russian missiles. Now, the Ukrainians claim that they shot down possibly up to 60 to 70 percent. And the Ukrainians are acknowledging that at least 40 plus of these missiles got through their air defense systems and were able to strike their designated aim points. A lot of warehouses. The Russians went after a lot of munition and ammunition depots throughout Ukraine. Not just command and control sites, not just reports of troop concentrations in the rear areas, depots, supply depots. Now, did we see the use of any new Russian weapon systems? Obviously, this is one of the uh, Iranian-made Shahid drones that are still being used, that are being adapted by the Russians in terms of increasing some of their stealth characteristics. But other systems, did we see new systems get used against the Ukrainians in the last 24 hours? And in all probability, the answer is yes. Look, the Russian defense budget has increased dramatically. It is now pushing a hundred billion U.S. dollars per year in terms of defense spending. At the start of the conflict, the Russian defense spending was about sixty billion, so almost double the de the the, uh, the uh, uh, prior defense spending at the start of the conflict. But this attack by the Russians was, was profound. If we go back 
to just uh, a few months after the start of the conflict. The uh, Russians had expended large amounts of cruise missiles and other systems, uh, Iskander, uh, semi-ballistic missiles against Ukrainian targets. And there was a lot of talk that the Russians were not going to be able to keep up the tempo of strikes against Ukrainian targets, meaning the Russians did not have adequate stockpiles of some of these weapon systems. And I got to tell you, the strike today obviously has proved a lot of those analysts wrong. The Russians are now using more, not less, more weapon systems in these missile strikes than even at the start of the conflict. We know that the Russians have tripled their production capacity of a lot of these systems, and it runs the gambit from the uh, KH-101, Uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, we didn't see any of the, uh, of the uh, caliber of sub-launched or sea-launched weapon systems used in this initial strike. So we think there could be uh, a very dramatic follow-on strike pending uh, the Russian uh, post-strike assessment in terms of what exactly they were going after. But there's a lot of footage out there right now that you can go online and you can you can see in terms of what the Russians were going after. Now, obviously, the, uh, the Ukrainians, as they usually do, are mum about what the Russians went after. The, the Ukrainians only report on civilian targets that may have been hit. And you got to understand, the, the Ukrainians are launching lots and lots of uh, counter missile uh, air defense systems against these Russian missiles. And when you do that, a lot of these weapon systems have the propensity to come back down from the sky and strike random targets. So that's some of what we're seeing. We could be seeing that uh, Russian missiles are being hit uh, by Ukrainian air defense and then they, uh, they, they, uh, they go out of control and then they strike an a unintended target but again, a lot of these weapons, these, uh, these systems the Ukrainians are using, are actually falling on the Ukrainians themselves. So we're seeing that. That is actually happening. But again, this was a, an incredibly large operation by the Russians. And the question is, is, is this going to be something that is new? Are we going to start seeing, instead of... 50, 60, 70, upwards to 100 of these missile strikes against the, these Ukrainian targets is 150, 200 Russian missiles aimed at Ukrainian targets going to become more common? And the answer to that is highly probably yes. Again, the Russian production capacity is increasing, the Russian military is expanding, and you can expect to see more of the types of attacks that we've witnessed over the last 24 hours. And I would expect that within the next 24 hours, we will probably see follow-on strikes, maybe not the same size and scope as what we just observed, but definitely follow-on follow strikes against targets that the Russians believe they may have missed or did not uh, ac adequately destroy those Ukrainian targets. So more to come. We're watching things very, very closely. As always, thanks for joining us today. More to come. Have a good day.